praise you, Abba. You are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever. Endeavor is your faithfulness. Praise you, Father. You are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever. Endeavor is your faithfulness. So, Father, let's ask for your your Ruchach, your Holy Spirit to dwell upon the hearts of the receiver and upon my lips. Let's get right into it. Um, I got a message, a very, very concerning message um, from one of the members of the body. And uh, been just praying about it all night for wisdom for for guidance for instructions and um, here we go and even 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 one of even one of my uh, brothers who I love and respect touched on the topic uh, even yet yesterday the word is light the word is like the word was made flesh, manifested, dwelt among us. So here's the deal. A woman has no business teaching a man. And in this society of, of, of weak, passive men, and, and overbearing two strong women It just happens too much I'm going to say it again A woman has no business Teaching the man The scriptures No None A woman has no business Standing up in the, and teaching men the Men opposed to teach men so, I'm not going to go no further. Let's get into the book. Let's get into the book. Because a, a young lady, a very um, humble, submissive young woman, um, was very concerned about things. And <laughs> she don't want to break the will of Yah. So, she reached out to me. And I'm just like, man, let me just pray. For wisdom and of course it's all right here in the book <sighs> father let your will be done let your will be done on earth as all that only your will is done in heaven <sighs> first corinthians and go to a couple different places first corinthians chapter 14 first corinthians Chapter 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. As in all the congregations, and of course, when, when we look at these letters, these these are these epistles are, are Paul, you know, Paul, you know, he traveled around the world. Now he traveled around, you know, that area, that part of the world for many, many years, and he established and built churches. He established a church and moved around. And then he would send, um, you know, one of his um, protégés or, 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 or to keep on, you know, building that particular church and would often send letters while he was in a joint to continue to edify the same church that he built. So these are letters that help build the church. OK. First Corinthians chapter 14, as in all the congregations of God's people. Verse 34, as in all the congregations of God's people, of Yahweh's people, let the wives remain silent when the congregation meets. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just reading here, okay? So all I'm going to do is read what's written. If you don't like what's written, holler at the Most High God. For real. What's written is greater than your church doctrine. Let's continue. First Corinthians chapter 14. 
as in all the congregations of Yahweh's people, let the wives remain silent when the congregation meets. Let's just look at the verbiage here. Let's look at the word play, right? Let the wives remain silent when the congregation meets. They are certainly not permitted to speak out when the congregation meets. Rather, let them remain subordinate as also the Torah says. And if there is something they want to know, let them ask their own husband at home. For it is shameful for a woman to speak out in a congregational meeting. Okay? Talking about when the men and the women gather. You know, young lady asked me, she said, you know, I want to, she said she want to take down her videos and she just want to, you know, uh, uh, shrink back. No, no. For you, young lady, I've watched your videos. No, nah, you, you ain't supposed to shrink back. This is why. Let's continue in the book. Now, if you out there, some girl out there standing up in front of all, a whole bunch of men trying to teach them, that's different. Let's continue. Uh, here are we. Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Hallelujah. 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 So Second Timothy chapter two. Let's read the whole chapter. First of all, then I counsel I counsel that petitions and prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all human beings, including kings in all positions in prominent places, so that we all may lead quiet and peaceful lives, being godly and upright in everything. That is what God, our deliverer, regards as good. That is what Yahweh regards as good. That we live quiet, peaceable lives. You know. With, amongst ourselves This is what meets his approval He wants all humanity to be delivered And come to the full knowledge of the truth For Yahweh is one God is one And there is one mediator between God and humanity Yeshua There is one mediator between God and humanity Yeshua the Messiah Himself human Who gave himself as a ransom on our behalf Thus providing testimony to God's purpose At just the right time This is why I myself was a Appointed a proclaimer Even an apostle I am telling the truth I ain't lying A trustworthy And a truthful teacher To the Goyim To the Gentiles Verse 8 Therefore it is my wish That when the men pray Here we go Give them more instructions Alright Therefore it is my wish That when men pray No matter where they are They should lift up Hands that are holy mm -hmm. They should not become angry or get into arguments. Likewise, back to the women. Likewise, the women, when they pray, should be dressed modestly, modestly, and sensibly in respectful attire, not with elaborate hairstyles and gold jewelry and pearls and expensive clothes. Rather, they should adorn themselves with what is appropriate for women who claim to be worshiping God, namely good deeds. See, this particular young lady, Rana, right? Every time I've watched your video, your head is covered. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen you try to rock no jewelry. I ain't never seen you try to look pretty. I ain't never seen makeup on your face. This is what the scriptures. So you must, you must, you must align yourself up with what the scriptures say. Forget what man says, because we know what it says in, you know, in Psalms. He said, we don't put our trust in princes. We put our trust in Yeshua. We put our trust in Yah. Regardless, we take everything that is said and we put it up against the scriptures and prayer, right? So, Paul said it right here. Shaul said it right here. Let a woman learn in peace. Let's go back to verse 10. Chapter 2, verse 10. First Timothy. Rather, they should adorn themselves with what is appropriate for women who claim to be worshiping God, namely good deeds. Adorn yourself in good deeds. And you've been doing that, girl. Let a woman learn in peace, fully submitted. But I do not permit a woman to teach a man or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain at peace. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. Also, it was not Adam who was deceived, but the woman who was deceived on being deceived became involved with the transgression. Nevertheless, 
The woman will be delivered through childbearing, provided that she continue trusting, mm -hmm. loving, and, and living a whole